What's up, you? Welcome back. It's Gray Wolf here from Gray Wolf Construction. And today, guys, we're playing Construction Simulator 22. Now, we're going to be getting back to work, but I wanted to show you something real quick. This is going to be a tips and tricks video, basically, for the Thrustmaster TMX Thrustmaster steering wheels, as well as the Thrustmaster TC16000 analog sticks here. So if you do have these analog sticks, of course, we are going to be going over how to establish these with two analogs and a steering wheel with pedal set. Grab your hard hats. Let's get to work. Over here on the left, you'll see the selection of companion equipment, keyboard, whatever you might be using. This is the identification for the Thrustmaster steering wheel that I'm using right now, which is a TMX. It's an Xbox version of the Thrustmaster steering wheel. One cool thing about Construction Simulator 22 is also having the ability to have preset some of your items. Palfinger crane, excavator, wheel loader, just to name a few. With the Thrustmasters being already pre-designed for Construction Simulator. So we can see here that our item is listed as the B67F. B67F is our Thrustmaster steering wheel. When we go to our joystick, the Thrustmaster TC-16000, we're going to notice at the bottom here that there's an option to do Arcade, ISO. You can choose, and it's preset for you. We chose Joystick Left because that's the joystick over here. And when we look at it, okay, a lot of this stuff is empty. That's good. We don't want it there. But the Palfinger Crane is pre-established in arcade mode joystick left is already set just by selecting joystick left we've taken care of almost 30 minutes of work this should be the proper way to operate the crane that you're used to if you've played the construction simulator 2 or 3 on the PC or Xbox PlayStation PC with a controller Notice how the wheel bucket here is empty, excavator, certain things are selected, certain things are not. Like we said before, you want to make sure that both joysticks have their own commands and they're not sharing commands. Do not have your joysticks share commands. Mobile cranes account for all mobile cranes, even the 300 tons to the 60 tons. All mobile cranes fall under this. Same with erect cranes like tower cranes, 81Ks, ECB 150s. These are all going to be under stationary crane. So whether or not a new crane design comes in or a modded crane comes in, as long as it falls under crane stationary, the setup should be exactly the same for that crane. You will not have to go through a whole list of machines now to actually establish what kind of keybinds you want to use. So they made it so it's streamlined for you to establish your keybinds. Very easy. And I suggest you keep the keyboard keybinds just the way they are because that is going to be your fail safe if anything happens with your equipment. Even though we have selected this, if I want to go ahead and add my own versions, I can. These are all here so I can just easily hit assign and make one. I could set whatever I want to it and then just go to the next joystick and select joystick right and go through that as well and, and do the proper steps to establish the kind of keybinds that I'd like. What these guys did here was give us preset for the excavator, cranes, and the wheel loader. That's pretty cool. Joystick right, that's this one here. They got the, uh, the parentheses with the one, and we put joystick right, and it should exactly have the selections for this joystick that were not on the left joystick. Stick down, okay. And you may have to get used to these setups. Maybe you plug the Thrustmasters in. You decide to go with the preset, and you don't like it. It's weird. Maybe try ISO. It's still weird for you for some reason. You can go in here and make your own. Go to Arcade and establish your own key binds. All this right here, already selected. Wheel loader is going to be on this, which is great because this is exactly the same joystick that I would use if I was setting up my commands for the Thrustmaster in the wheel loader. And again, wheel loader is the umbrella for all wheel loaders, even the skid steers, 
anything that has a loader, the, bob, the, the bobcats, the backhoes, falls under wheel loader controls right here. Perfect. The dumper, uh, mm, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's assign this joystick to the dumper. We'll do a lift up, do lift up, or stick down, I'm sorry, and stick up to put down. Perfect. Pour concrete. Let's assign that to this button here. So now we get to the tracked vehicles, and this is where it gets a little tricky. We're using two Thrustmaster joysticks here. These Thrustmaster joysticks cannot also move the excavator back and forth, swing the boom arm, excavate the soil, and expel the soil, and then also move the excavator's tracks backward and forward. Unless you set it up so that the buttons move it, I mean, if you want to do that, go for it. But this is what I'm suggesting. Left track forward, right track forward, these are going to be your foot pedals on your Thrustmaster TMX or whatever thrust, Thrustmaster, whatever steering wheel you're using, whether it's a Ferrari or a Sony. Set your left track and your right track forward to your gas and your brake pedal. Left track backward and right track backward. You can set that to the trigger buttons on the back of your TC16000s. It's not a bad idea. It gives you the idea that you're still holding on to the arms that you would be if you were in an excavator but I recommend setting up your tracked movements on your pedals and your joystick so let's do it right now we got the right this is the right-handed so we're gonna do backwards assign trigger go to the left left track backward assign trigger. Now go to our Thrustmaster steering wheel. See, it looks like I already have it set. Left track forward, assign, axis 1. Right track forward, assign, axis 5. I have this preset already. So since we're on the, the semi-truck now, let's go ahead and set up our key binds for the menus and, the, and things like that that we're going to be using throughout the game. Action is interaction, something that you hold on to. On the keyboard, it's G. You press and hold G to interact with certain, thing, with certain things. So if we're going to do an interaction button on the steering wheel, find something that's going to be comfortable for you. Personally, I'm okay with reaching across the steering wheel and pressing G. I'm not going to establish any buttons for this. But action is a press and hold action. That's when you're, you're interacting with material or stores or um, in-game campaign mechanics. You can set this to whatever you want on the steering wheel. Personally, I'm going to leave the keyboard. Like I said, leave the keyboard alone. Keep keyboard binds the way they are. This is going to save you in the long run. It's always a good thing to have these as backup. And it doesn't really interfere with your steering wheel or your joysticks. It's great. All right, context menu. This is an important one to assign to your steering wheel. You don't have to use it on your keyboard, but it is important to use, assign it on your, your, your steering wheel because this is what's going to bring up your lights, your functionalities, your flashers, whether you're going to empty the vehicle, whether you're, you're going to fill the vehicle, and any, anything else that might be in the context wheel, like chaining down the item. Context menu is the one that we're familiar with from CS2 and CS3. We're going to assign this one's going to be the start button. So basically, it's going to be kind of like our um, menu button for the vehicle itself. I'm still not sure what quick selection is, but that's pretty cool that they have that. I, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll eventually find out. This could mean map, vehicles, jobs, something like that. Make sure the character things are empty. If your, if your character is running around or moving on his own, it's because this still has assignments to it. Make sure that assignments are clear on all your thrustmasters, your pedals, and your, your, your wheels. Whatever you got, make sure the character movements are empty on all of them except for keyboard. Machine functions, we have function mode here. Again, this is the function that you're going to be using for the machine. This is how you activate it. Make sure you hit assign first before you do that. Notice how there's not a conflict here. Typically, if I assign something that's already assigned, there'd be a conflict. But there's no conflict here because it's function mode for both the function hold 
modify or hold and itself so here we go lights lights rotating lights repair I believe repair is blue so we're gonna set the X which is a blue button to repair and it's a hold button fuel I believe is a green button or a green icon so we're gonna use the green a button on this controller BAM horn we can leave alone that's H on the keyboard if you want to use the horn you can unfortunately the TMX does not have a horn so we're just gonna leave that alone indicator left I like to use the paddles for the indicators And hazard lights. I think I established my hazard lights as Y. So let's go ahead and assign the Y. And then if we want to, since we have the free button, let's go ahead and assign B for the horn. There we go, guys. TMX Thrustmaster Steering Wheel is all set up for your vehicle's function, your machine functions, and your vehicle functions. That's really all you that's really all you're gonna need for your Thrustmaster. TMX or Thrustmaster steering wheel, any steering wheel really, unless you have more or less buttons, you'll have to figure it out. But it's pretty simple. Everything is already assigned now. We go to our Thrustmaster. Let's go to, to the, the right stick here. We're going to go to the menus and we're going to establish our menu keys for our Thrustmaster. I'm going to use the right side because that's going to be my dominant hand. While I'm driving with the left hand, I can use my dominant hand on this side to apply keys, go through the menus, things like that. I'm a lefty but my dominant hand is the right. So to access the menu, let's go ahead and make our menu button something you know, inconvenient, like, uh, like this button down here. Action interaction, something we have to press and hold. If we're using this, we don't really want to use this because I, again, I just pressed G. I don't worry about having something set up on my Thrustmaster for, for that. Same with reset. I can hit backspace. That's a comfortable thing for me. I know what that button does. That's the button's, that's the button's purpose. It's just going to stay like that. Context menu. We established the context menu on the steering wheel, so we're not going to assign this key. Same with the quick selections. Not quite sure what they do yet. Once I find out, I'll assign them certain keys. Once you find out, you'll assign them yourself construction view don't care for function modifier of course we had a function modifier on the thrustmaster to press and hold we're not going to deal with that motor pool this one we're going to assign right here button 10 base button 10 oh, I'm sorry let's reassign this base button 11 that's better and we'll make this one base button 10 so now I've got the jobs and the vehicle fleet right here on the side of my Thrustmaster. If you have a Thrustmaster TC16000 or, or any kind of um, any kind of joystick that has buttons on the side or buttons on it, you can of course set some of your quick menu options on that as well. Pretty cool. If you're trying to assign a key and it's not activating, no matter what you do, it's probably because you didn't change the joystick that you're assigning the key to. So make sure you change the joystick you're assigning the key to. Those are blade up, those are blade down. Okay. Rotate conveyor right. Let's go ahead and assign that to the right. Rotate conveyor left to the left. Ah, uh, the concrete pump and the rotary drill. That's going to be interesting. Concrete pump. Rotate right, rotate left. We're going to use the left hand for the rotation. Now, where are these conflicts at? Because you see there's conflict here. Oh, for the Palfinger crane. Let's see. Left, right, left, right. Right, left. I mean, it looks right, left. Yeah. 
So if you get this notification right here, it means that these keys are already signed something else. Just double check and make sure that they are the same, at least the same concepted items. A concrete pump and a Palfinger crane have the same kind of swivel dynamic. They both have arms that are going to be unfolding. So this is okay. Do not worry about this. It should not affect you at all. Now we're talking about the main boom up and down. That's the first big arm. If I'm using left and right, if I'm going to pull that arm out, what am I doing? If I'm No, it's going to be the right side. So main arm, boom up. And if I think about it from the game, I'm going to say stick down. And main boom down, I'm going to say stick up. Okay, we got a, a conflict again here. But I'm assuming that's with the crane. Of course, it's with the crane. So do not worry. You may get this because the concrete pump and the Palfinger crane are the same concept. They're folded arm cranes. They're folded arm chutes. Stick boom up, stick boom down. So this is the secondary. I'm thinking about this one as well. How did I do it in the game? Up, down. Stick boom up would be left side and if I was to pull it up I would want to pull down and to boom down I want to go up now extending the arms typically what I would do with this the extension and retraction of the arms is I would assign the triggers so extend the arm we're gonna assign trigger retract the arm we're gonna assign a trigger and that just makes it easier for everyone. Now go back and look at where you have Activate Concrete. It's on this thumb button here, so make sure you use this thumb button. Make sure that this is selected and this one should be clear. So make sure that this concrete pump is clear of anything. Yeah, see how it's, it's got something there? Both these buttons are assigned to pour concrete. You can keep it that way, but I prefer that you don't. That way it doesn't confuse the joysticks. Okay. Now, with that said, guys, that's pretty much the basics for the construction simulator setup with your TMX Thrustmaster pedal set and your TC16000 Thrustmaster joysticks. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, guys. This is Grail from Grail of Construction, and I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let's get to work.